Hi everyone and welcome to the Radical series. Now we have a lot of people who contribute to us in various ways. So it could be at home, it could be at office. But at times some of us become so dependent on some people or a group of people that it starts becoming unhealthy. So today we are going to discuss about how to resolve this unhealthy dependency. Now man is a social being and the dependency mechanism was given to facilitate interaction so that people socially are interactive. But sometimes what happens is that we become so dependent on that one individual or that group of people that it almost becomes pathological and it makes you fully feel handicapped without them. So each one of us would have that one person or that one individual whether at home or outside where if you feel that if that person is not there to contribute to you it's like your whole universe will come to a standstill. It's like you find it almost difficult to fathom that you can move forward without them. Like, let me give you an example. Um, from a very small example, like some of us or uh, housewives are very dependent on their maids. So I know some of them that if the, the whole mood of the day and how they're going to be with their family members depends on whether the maid is going to come or not. That was just a, in a light-hearted way. But a lot of us can be dependent um, at work, or maybe on one of our colleagues. Like bosses can be very dependent on that one assistant who uh, does all their work. Or the uh, family members can be dependent on the housewife. Leaders can be dependent on their followers. And vice versa. And this story is very um, uh, dear to me because as an architect, when I used to have a team few years back, I used to feel that same kind of dependency on a lot of people at work because I used to feel that what they can do, I can't do. And that somewhere generates uh, frustration, helplessness, and it creates a very uncomfortable loop between uh, people whom you're very uh, dependent on in an unhealthy way. So you need to see whether you have someone in your universe who you feel that if he's not around to contribute, would you feel that kind of handicap? Or some people are so there a part of your comfort zone that you can't even fathom without them. And that can be unhealthy. There's another uh, interesting uh, uh, observation that, you know, some of us are absolute perfectionists. And we need a perfect support system to be able to give our best in any aspect of our life. What we don't realize is that your true strength is not the team or the people around you. Your true strength is your willingness to move forward and to continue going ahead irrespective of the support from people around you. That is, so if you can actually move on and still do your best irrespective of the fact that people might or might not be there, that is your true asset. So it is important for us to resolve this unhealthy dependency for us to not only feel good, but for our optimum performance. And most important is to liberate yourself. Because just imagine if you have that one person or that group that you're totally dependent on and you feel you cannot do without them, it is frustrating at times. It is, uh, you feel that powerlessness, you feel that helplessness and it's not a very good feeling. 
So do you want to continue living like that and thinking that there are certain things you just can't do and you need people for you to do it? Or do you want to finally liberate yourself? And how can you do that is the first is to work with your fears and with, uh, work with all your emotional baggage. And see the possibility somewhere of being independent and moving forward irrespective of human support. It's like challenge yourself and challenge that need for human support. And make a final choice of becoming independent. Somewhere we are not able to be independent because we don't trust and have faith in our inner potential or in our own inner strength. So to kind of deepen that faith. And when you make a choice of becoming independent, trust me, you will find creative solutions and creative ways and alternatives to be able to solve your uh, concern or issue or whatever you're facing that is preventing you from moving ahead. And in this process, you will actually discover your true identity of who you truly are and your true inner potential and that is what will liberate you. And interestingly, when you actually detach and you become independent and you start uh, working with that self-reliance, you'll be surprised that the same people who were not supporting you earlier actually start contributing to you and supporting you. And if by chance, even if there is a 1% that they do not, we need to understand that life must go on. And no one in this universe is indispensable. And that includes us. And the universe is going to give you alternatives, if not necessarily the exact replacement of that person or the group of people. And it's important that we explore that because sometimes the absence of that one person can actually open up a better option, a better alternative, you never know. Or it can help you discover your own independence and your own identity and how and what you're truly capable of doing. Sometimes uh, when you don't realize your own identity and your own capability, the universe has no option but to conspire against you so that you finally wake up to be independent and self-reliant. So we rather be independent with just our own inspiration. With even with people with, uh, I have noticed when it comes to money, it's like there are uh, people who are dependent on people in a very unhealthy way because finally sometimes those people are providing them with that financial uh, help and assistance. And then if you're, in, if you're dependent on people for that, it's very unhealthy between the two of you. And the relationship is definitely not very uh, healthy. Or in the other way, sometimes you are so dependent on people that you allow them to even financially exploit you. Because you're so emotionally dependent and you need them. I know, I know this friend who is so emotionally dependent on a partner and they kind of going around that she lets the partner financially exploit her. So in both cases, you need to finally become independent and get all the resources by yourself. It's no point being stuck and remaining dependent on that one individual when your growth and your whole financial well-being is at stake. Somewhere you lack faith where you don't have the faith that all that is meant for you, including money and resources, will come to you. There could be an alternative way of coming to you. There could be a different avenue of coming to you. But somewhere you need to have that faith that all that is meant to you is going to come your way. So rather than being so unhealthily dependent, 
stand up, be depend, be independent and self-reliant and move on. And when you move forward, you will find a solution to do it. Because it is so common when I hear people saying that I cannot do this without that person and I need him because I don't understand technology, I don't understand this, I need... Um, I'm always dependent on others for being able to move forward in my life. So it's good to take inputs and uh, get help, but it is a thin line in taking support and becoming unhealthily dependent on people. So with this, let us begin the R5 recitation, which can help us perform irrespective of people's support and help us recognize who we really are. So if you can close your eyes and be comfortable and recite with me I R5 my dependency on others I R5 my dependency on others I R5 the dependency on others I R5 my fears I R5 my fears I R5 my fears I R5 my inability to cope up I R5 my inability to cope up I R5 my inability to cope up I R5 my attachment to my comfort zone I R5 my attachment to my comfort zone I R5 my attachment to my comfort zone I R5 my need to be dependent on others I R5 my need to be dependent on others I R5 my need to be dependent on others I R5 the reason behind the dependency I R5 the reason behind the dependency I R5 the reason behind the dependency I R5 the guilt of making others feel dependent on me I R5 the guilt of making others feel dependent on me I R5 the guilt of making others feel dependent on me I R5 my association of growth with dependency I R5 my association of growth with dependency I R5 my association of growth with dependency I R5 my need to be independent I R5 my need to be independent I R5 my need to be independent I R5 my need to discover my true strength I R5 my need to discover my true strength I R5 my need to discover my true strength I R5 my inner potential 
I identify my inner potential. I identify my inner potential. And the affirmation is I perform irrespective of the support from others. I perform irrespective of the support from others. I perform irrespective of the support from others.